Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to place anatomy within a figure so that it looks like it's lying underneath the figure rather than it look like it's being stamped on. And there's a couple of ways to do this, but the most quickest and easiest way is to use masking. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to add a mask to this lung anatomy layer. So I'm just going to add a mask right there. And then, so there are a couple of tips and tricks, and it's basically the same method when you're doing outline transparencies. So anywhere that has an edge, such as the um, jawline here, what you can do is you can mask it away. So this is a trick that you can do. So I'm just gonna use the lasso tool real quick. And then I'm just going to mask that off just from there. And I can even paint in with a soft brush here. I'm just gonna hide my marching ants. Just go down a little bit. I'm just gonna mask that off, okay? So bring back marching. I'm gonna just invert that as well, and then just do the same on the other side. And just kind of erase that. Okay, so there immediately this edge here, it looks like the nasal pharynx and the esophagus is lying underneath these lines. And you can do the same for these lines here, but I think I'm gonna leave these detailed lines for now and focus more on the clothing here. Now, this kind of um, edge of the cloth here is gonna be a lot thicker than the actual cloth. So the best way here to do it is just to completely mask it away. So I'm just gonna use a hard brush here. And this will immediately give the illusion that it's sitting right underneath the clothes. Okay, and then from there I can kind of do a soft gradient fade moving up. So I'm just going to do really soft, not so harsh, just, just really subtle. Soft gradient fade here. Do another soft gradient fade underneath it. Maybe I'll use a circular, circular one right here. Okay, so there already is starting to sit behind the clothing and everything here. Then I can go in and see the areas where the clavicles are. This is probably areas where light hits a lot. So maybe I can just softly paint in some um, highlights of where the where the clavicles might sit so i'm just going to paint this in just right there and just right there for because this is such a simple illustration just like really subtle things like that will help and it's the same here i'm just gonna kind of like softly paint this in just like that Think maybe it's a little bit too painted in so maybe I'll just pull it back a little bit not so harsh okay so that is some of the small tips and tricks that you can do to kind of just place it anatomy within a figure without it looking like it's stamped on so that looks like a stamped on now that's starting to look like it's within the figure there and then you can go in and just add in a little bit more details and like start fading things off around her face because you don't want to cover up like things like her face or anything like that and that and then another trick is you can possibly drop an me. don't usually like doing that well, maybe for this one we could just drop it a little bit and that starts to look a little bit okay I'm just going to drop the anatomy maybe down to 70 percent Okay, for black and white line illustrations, you think you can maybe get away with dropping the anatomy just a little bit. When it comes to colorized illustrations, there's another method for that. So please feel free to reach out and we'll do another tutorial on that. Thanks so much. Bye.